Running on the console is great to verify functionality, to test your code while you're developing. However, once you are done, once you get the code to the place that you need it to be, then you need more functionality. You need a process that sticks around once you log out. You need a process that restarts upon a crash. Perhaps you need even load balancing. So PM2 is a precisely that, a production runtime and process manager for Node applications. And it is something that we can easily install within the command line. We're going to go ahead and start, stop our application. Then we're going to install the PM2 package that I mentioned. And that is, we're going to install it globally. And that is PM2. Now, once that has installed, we can start the code, the node code. This is again, just, well, let me go ahead and display the code. This is simply the little server that we have been working with. And we can start it in PM2 by simply entering PM2 start and the code file. Now, as you can see, that is now running as a process, as a daemon and we can log out of the server and we can still access that machine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So you can see there I'm back in my local environment. Now if I go back to the machine and I reload, I still have access to that application. And so this is now running as a process, meaning you can log in and out and that will not stop. Also, if it crashes, it will restart. And as I mentioned, there's also functionality to do some load balancing across the different cores that you might have potentially in your machine. Uh, for a full uh, coverage of the documentation, just look up uh, PM2 uh, node and you will be able to get access to the website that has all of the documentation. There, there are a lot of features in this, but it's a great package. It's not the only one, there are others, but this one is the most widely used and it's pretty simple to use.